Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the North Bayou, Bayou uh, or NBF80 monitor arms. These are some of the top rated monitor arms across take a lot if you're from South Africa or even Amazon. They feature in one of the top rated monitor arms. Uh, I've been using cheap monitor arms. Um, I love the idea of floating monitors. So I have bought cheap monitor arms in the past and I have a off-brand version of these that I'm also gonna be comparing in this video just briefly. Uh, so I wanna just grab them, I bought them. So this is an honest review, I paid for these and I will be checking them out, seeing what you get, seeing if they live up to their five-star rating across the board on multiple um, e-commerce retail outlets and let's see what they have to offer compared to off-brand or cheaper versions of them all right so first thing first as always let's get inside the box that did not cut anything come on there we go okay so that's what the box looks like there's some crunchy plastic. I know you guys love that. So the monitor is, these mounts are VESA 75 and VESA 100 mil compatible. Um, they can hold up to nine kilograms or 19 pounds. And they can fit up to 17 to 30 inch monitors. I have got 27 inch monitors and I've got gaming 27 inch curved monitors. So they are quite heavy. So it will definitely be maxing out their weight capacity. Let's see what you get inside the box. There it is. So that's inside the box. This is what you're getting. Some instruction manuals. Oh, some assembly is required. Lovely. Okay. The unboxing experience is better than the off-brand arm I had. It comes with a tie, desk clamp mount, and this is the assembly required part and yeah so that's all the stuff that's in the box i'm gonna put the box aside and let's assemble the monitor arm okay Ooh, this is nice the old friend didn't come with this velcro is it gonna shoot open okay i feel like it's smaller what's the same one thing that is noticeable compared to the off-brand version is the logo is everywhere. If you don't like this yellow logo, buy a, buy a marker to cover it up because it is everywhere. It's on the arms, it's on the packaging, it's on the base. But I guess they want to make sure you know that you bought the, the name brand version of the arm. But there it is. That's how, about, how big it is. I will be putting my monitor on it so you can see the size. It does have adjustable pressure. Does it? No. I think it does. Surely. Okay, but we'll be checking that out. I'll be, I'm, ass I'm assuming it has to have adjustable pressure. One second. Um, okay, so let's assemble it. Let's get it on the desk. Um, Let's see how hard it is to assemble. I have done these in the past, but I feel like I'm gonna have to look at the manual. Although manuals are for cheaters. I believe that. <laughs> it's very similar. Wait, hold up. Why does it have to be complicated? Okay, um, hold up. That mounts on there. Okay, the C screws are the Allen key screws, these ones. Okay. So, when I'm done, I will tell you how long this took me to do. It says it's just a three step process. How much of that I believe? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's fancy. So, it has this adjustable desk thing so you don't just have one you don't have one desk spacing because if you see if you screw this in all the way if your desk is that big you got an issue this you can actually adjust to the size of your desk and then tighten it so you can have a desk 
that is literally that thick, that big, and you can have a desk that is absolutely very, very thin, and this should work for you. That's a nice touch. Okay, off-brand doesn't have that. Off-brand only has one size. Um, but that's, that's actually it. I don't need any of this. I didn't need any of that. All I had to do was mount this arm onto it, which took three screws, took me a minute about, and that's it. And this is keyless, that clips into there, and that just mounts on the desk. So let's give it a, a try, shall we? Aha, and there we go. That is all she wrote. It is adjustable. I see that the pressure is adjustable. I just didn't see the adjusting points till earlier. So you can adjust how strong you want this to be. If you have it too strong, it will constantly keep your monitor upright. If it's too weak, your monitor will droop. You adjust it to the weight of your monitor so that it holds it and then you can adjust it while using it. So it has have full 360 and up and down. So if you want your monitor towards you, your monitor will be on here and you can have it like that. So I did make mention to an off-brand version. This is the off-brand version that I have acquired. Like I said, the mounting system, it is somewhat adjustable it's got like the three settings but it's not as nice as that and refined it does feel a little bit lighter but at the end of the day it does the same thing it feels cheaper it's more creaky more plastic this one's a lot more solid although this one was almost half the price of this i can't remember what the name of this one was i think it was the tvl v8 or something like that um but yeah so as you can see pretty much identical that's like exactly the same thing just the one is name brand the other one isn't so the the arm does have adjustable torque or adjustable pressure um, you adjust it with the allen key on the back of the arm here you can make it stronger and weaker uh, with the mounting system as well, it does have a permanent desk mount. So if you want to drill a hole through the middle of your desk or where you want to have it in a specific location, it does have one of these that you can screw to the bottom of a desk. So how it goes, wait, how does this work? So, okay, this mounts onto the bottom of the monitor arm. The This goes through the desk. So this is on the bottom of the stand that's what's standing on your desk then this plate comes in you put this plate on like that so now your desk is between there and then you would just tighten it with a wing nut underneath and that's to permanently mount it through the middle of a desk and you just need a hole that big to drill through your desk and you can have it wherever you want it uh, it does have cable management through here which is going to be very nice it is removable by two screws but it is open on this side that you can just pull open, squeeze your cables in there or run them through. The off-brand version does have the same thing, but it's more like a solid piece of plastic that you can't just squeeze your cable in. You have to unscrew it. And it's not really made to do that. This is just to hide screws, but you could run cables through here. But unless you want to feed them through you have to remove this and put it in. You can't just pull it open like that, which uh, at the end of the day, whoever made this off-brand version did a very, very good job on copying the name brand. Even the, the finish isn't the same, like there's dents and scratches on this, and that's not from me. This is how I got it. The, the polish on this isn't perfect. It's missing some paint here and there. The plastic feels a bit cheaper. Um, the mounting screws aren't the same like they break or like the paint comes off when you want to try and tighten them the name brand definitely feels a lot better but at the end of the day once it's mounted and on the desk 
I don't know if you'll ever remember the difference or see the difference. One thing I'm worried about is with my MSI monitors, these whole units didn't fit in where the vase amount goes. So I actually had to shave off the sides here to make it fit into the place where the vase amount goes into on the arms because it's a square cutout where this has to slide into. So I have to shave these off. So I'm gonna to have to see if I have to shave these off too. It, by the looks of it, I might have to, but I'm gonna grab one of my monitors and we'll see how it fits. So here we have my 27 inch MSI gaming monitor. We have three of these. I'm gonna be taking off the included stand and I'm going to be replacing this stand with this monitor arm. Now, I feel like I am gonna run into the issue again where this isn't gonna fit because the off-brand one didn't, but we're gonna see, maybe we're lucky and it, it can fit with that one. So first things first, we need to, what I wanna see is there are included screws. There's these screws. I wanna see if those are the VESA screws. Uh, MSI does include extra screws to VESA mount, which is a very nice touch. So you have the two that keeps the stand in place, then it just pops out like that. Very, very simple and easy. We get rid of that. Then there are two more screws inside that we need to use for the VESA mount. By the looks of it, this is VESA screws. Yeah, they are VESA screws, okay. So if you were concerned, they do give you four monitor screws in the bag if needs be so that you can mount your monitor if your monitor didn't come with uh, a set of four screws. All right, so now that we have the monitor stand off, the monitor is ready to be mounted. How this mounting system works, especially because you're dealing with big heavy monitors, a lot of the time, such as this one, is you loosely mount the top two screws so that there's enough gap to slide them in here. So what you do is you have the monitor, you slide it into these two, tighten it there, put the bottom two in, and the monitor is on. So nice little feature so that you don't have to hold it in place um, because some monitor arms, you can take the, this piece off, mount it, then clip it onto the arm. I prefer that, but with these, you can't have, you can't mount the arm to the monitor and then the desk because that's very awkward when you do that. So you have to put these two screws on clip it onto the monitor arm and then tighten it. Not my preferred method of the ways of monitor arms, but that is the way that they set these up. So you screw it in about halfway so that there is enough gap to slide it onto the monitor arm, which I'm going to try and do whilst giving you guys a sh So it slides in like that and it fits. Look at that, it fits. The off brand didn't fit. I had to shave it. It didn't fit in this cutout. Let's go. And there it is, it's mounted. It's not mounted yet properly. You do wanna make sure you put all four screws in. Okay, once all the screws are in place and tightened, it's literally as easy as that. I'm not gonna do it too much because I need to Move this anyway, and there it is. Tilt it up. Wait, why is it not tilting up? Tilt up, okay. So it is adjustable here. You can tilt it like this. So you can have it mounted like that. This monitor is so dirty, please excuse. I didn't realize until the lights hit it. I will clean it. Um, <laughs> So you can have it pretty much anywhere you want if you want it facing you. And I mean, that just shows how strong this arm is, that that's fully extended and it is easily holding the weight of this monitor. Fully extended outwards like that. And I mean, you can have it at whatever height you want. Like I said, it is adjustable. I, I did adjust it off camera, um, taking a guess on how hard it should be. And I think I got it lucky first try on how strong it needs to be. Then when I put the monitor there, it stays there. It doesn't come up by itself and it doesn't go down by itself. It stays exactly where I want it. 
And I mean, you have the full, you can have this monitor wherever you want it. And it does adjust up and down. I just haven't loosened the Allen key. There's an Allen key you loosen here to make it swivel. I haven't unloosened that, but it does have clicking positions. But this is where I'd want it straight ahead like that. And there we go. It is working. As simple as that. I'm super happy that it fits without having to make modifications to the stand or the arm. And that's it. I'm gonna throw this on my desk, get all three monitors on the arms, do the cable management, and then you guys will see what it looks like on the final product. I'll give you a little tour, and that's it. Okay guys, so by those cool B-roll shots you just saw, it makes an amazing difference having the monitor arms up. Um, gives you so much more desk space, a lot more versatility of where you want the monitors, how you want them, what angles and all of that. Makes it very, very nice. Cable management is a lot easier, I find, with arms versus the monitor stands. A few things we can talk about, like I said, I do have the off-brand one, the off-brand one is still on the main, my main monitor, the two new NB1s are on the side monitors. The NB1s are definitely better quality. Uh, got, compared to the off-brand one, I mean, swivel action is a lot smoother, the actions are a lot smoother on the monitors. They have locking positions on the uh, swivel of the actual monitors. Locking positions are very nice, especially if you have very heavy monitors that will come in handy really nice. But um, at the end of the day, the NB1s were almost double the price of the off-brand monitor. And I think at the, like, the off-brand monitor gets the job done, but had I've known the quality difference, I probably would have gone for the NBs, uh, for all three of them. But like I said, it gets the job done. Um, it's not gonna make a big difference in my day-to-day -day life. If you do move your arm around a lot, and you, if you do have super expensive monitors, uh, spend the extra few little bucks, get the, get the name brand ones. It, it is a difference, the quality, there is a quality difference, I can assure you. Um, enough for me to say that I have to replace this one? No, it, it's not. It's not worth it to replace it. So I'm just gonna be using the three of them as is. Uh, but that's about all I've got to say guys super impressed with these monitor arms I feel they're worth a five-star rating. I've had no problems with them installing them fitting them Assembly was quick and easy as easy as it comes and uh, they, they're doing their jobs perfectly fine as they intended So I would give them a five-star review So that's all I've got to say about them guys if you are interested in buying them I can assure you they will probably get the job done so that's all I've got to say. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to leave a like if it was informative. And of course, we'll see you in the next one. Until then, adios amigos. I'm out of you guys.